come to our calculus lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can set up a timer that counts upwards, meaning an up counter. And as you know, on the board, you have two numbers you can expose at any time, you can represent at any time. So the board setup is very important to be able to do some of these kinds of operations. We said by convention our results are going to be on the second row, which means that any time I'm looking for what time it is, I have to look in the second row. So the board setup to do a timer is to put one in the first row, because that's the tick, that's the clock tick. And a zero to start with in the second row. So every time the clock ticks, we do an addition. So the first time we do addition is one. The next time we do an addition is two. The next time we do an addition Next time we do an addition, timer is 4. Next time we do an addition, timer is 5. Next time we do an addition, timer is 6. Next time we do an addition, and it goes on the same. Timer is seven. Next time we do an addition, then timer is eight. The next time we do an addition, timer is nine. The next time we do an addition is a different story altogether. Then you collect all of these stones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it becomes zero. You only leave one stone here. When you do this, then it becomes ten. The next time you do it, it becomes eleven. And so on. See you next time.